Hey guys, we're on location today at Harford Granite and Marble in Connecticut. Today's goal is to talk to you guys about people that are starting granite shops and what type of compressed air, compressed air needs and equipment that are needed to run a granite shop like this. So an, an angled head grinders, these tools are used all the time in multiple applications and these are the biggest air users. We talked about CFM's usage for these tools. They, they vary by it and it's based on how old the tool is, how big the tool is. Well, how these things actually work is that we have compressed air that comes in from one side, it actually spins the head of the tool and the other side is on the water side of it. So we're able to filter some water to actually keep the head cool as well in the product. So you got to determine which type of grit of paper that you want on there to actually round this edge because the saw cuts this, leaves a pretty sharp edge right here. We want to round that and then the guys come in and they just physically run this thing back and forth and round it and depends on what type of groove do they want around the corners. So in any granite facility, you know, even when you have one guy doing this, you still are going to use this and this is the biggest air user that we're going to have and this is how we're going to start to quantify how much compressed air we need in the facility. So why would you need water? Water actually helps keep the dust control down and cools the surface of the pad. You'd be getting really, really hot as it goes, so the water helps cool it down, lubricates the surface as well, but also keeps the dust control down because it's just like cutting stone. There'd be a ton of dust up into the air. So when you're opening up your granite shop and you want to lay out your grinding room, you want to sort of keep it isolated from other things. And the biggest thing is to have flexibility. When these panels come in and they're different sizes, you want to be able to stretch it out. So we recommend doing some air piping completely around the whole entire room with multiple access points to pick up in different spots. In most of your facilities that every time you do have a grinder, you do have a blow gun that goes along with it. So making sure back to what we were talking about of connections for air piping through the facility, you want to make sure you have an adequate amount of them so you can connect it. So you don't have to keep unplugging this tool and plugging it into that tool. Keeps it seamless, keeps the guys going a lot more efficient. I wanted to show you what we, when we talked about where location your compressor and what's the best location for it. You see the amount of dust that comes off of this when we grind granite. We don't want our compressor in this area. This type of buildup right here that you get it's huge. This gets sucked directly into the compressor. Cuts down on the efficiency, cuts down on the life expectancy of the oil, makes the units run hot. Always take into consideration, this is what the byproduct's going to be coming off of the grinders. So keep your compressors out of this grinding room. Find another clean, dry location for them.